We are back here inside Corsair Pavilion for the second half of this doubleheader between Santa Monica College and West Los Angeles College. This one, the women's side. Earlier today, the men's took the victory against the Wildcats. Scott, we're here for the women's matchup. What are you anticipating we see from the Santa Monica College side who come into this 7-12 uh, and 12 on the season? Well, despite a 7-12 and 12 record and a short roster, they have a great player in Cameron McMahon. 12 and a half points per game and amassing a total of 459 minutes this season. She's a great player, a lot of force, a force to be reckoned with. I think she's the player to look for on the Santa Monica team tonight. And the West Los Angeles side, how do you think they can try to continue their momentum today against Santa Monica? Um, I think West LA, they've got a good team coming in. They're pretty solid all, all around. They got a player, point guard, what was her name? Haven Johnson. She comes in and uh, gets her team to group up around her. They could do some damage as well. So we have two uh, teams that are gonna go at each other much like the men's teams did in the first game. But as long as they do it, it should make for some exciting action. And like you mentioned, Johnson, she is the catalyst for that side on the Wildcat offense. She kind of gets everybody in their place, directs traffic, tells people where to go. It'll be interesting to see this matchup today, Scott, a Western State South Division matchup, an important one for both sides as we're just getting underway here, about to tip off. Starting lineups are being announced. The crowd a little bit more sparse than earlier today. We had a raucous environment for that men's matchup. How about that, Scott? We did, and you know, if you want to, if you want to be fair, a, many of those fans were from SLA, which is like three and a half miles up the right. road, and a lot of them were the women's players and the women's cheerleaders too. So that made up a lot, of, a, a big portion of this fan base today. We're just about to tip off here inside Corsair Pavilion. It'll be Nina Gazzo tipping off against Andrea Riley of the Wildcats. Corsairs handle that one. Corsairs are in the white with West LA sporting the blue uniforms. Cameron McMahon handling it. McMahon a key player noted by Scott Early. Nina Gazzo just puts it off the backboard. Easy bucket there for the big Big gal. Nina, Nina Gazzo standing at six foot three out of Hamilton High School. Averaging 10 points and 12 rebounds on the year. Integral part of this Corsair team. McMahon falling as she was trying to get the ball over to Ariana Quintana. Quintana is the three-point specialist for this Corsair side. Havion Johnson off on that one. Corsair's coming the other way. It will be four 10-minute quarters today, as opposed to the two 20-minute halves that the men's played earlier. That is a different formula than we're used to. Normally we do two, two uh, 20 minute halves. Ball was kicked out of bounds by ha Havian Johnson. Will stay with Santa Monica. Inbounded to Miriam Mogus. Also you have number 22, Aldrina Viella on the West LA team. She is an all conference player. As it's listed on their website. Averaging 15.5 points per game on 53% shooting, Scott. Scott, she's a good one for West LA. <laughs> Looks like Luna Rivera was just out of bounds on that one. Not able to stay inside the white lines. Corsair's out to the early lead, 4 nothing right now. Despite a 7-12 record, uh, they came to play today. Got a little bit of that instinct. Johnson has it, being guarded by McMahon. Just off on the triple attempt there. Corsairs will take over. Inbounded into Cameron McMahon. Being guarded by Johnson. McMahon cuts through the lane. Ball finds its way to Quintana, back to McMahon. 
Quintana working. Mogus has it. Into Mogus. Course. Finds Gazzo down low. Oh. Corsair is a very good passing team, though, despite no basket on that possession. There's our all-star right there. Number 22 passes it out. Vajaya is a good one for that Wildcat side. Tries to go off glass there. Crawford off on that one. Ball into Luna Rivera. She goes off glass. We got an injury down on the court for West LA right now. That looks to be number 10, Camry Hill. Let's hope she's, our, oh, excuse me, number 30. She looks to be in a good amount of pain here, Scott. <laughs> Trainer's coming out to check on her. It looks like something wrong with her hamstring. We'll see what it is. Probably another stretch, much like in the towards the end of the last game. Like we had there with Dwight. Murray. Dwight Murray, yeah. She's down on the floor. She looks to be in excruciating pain right now. Ilana Alano takes off her warm up. She knows she's in for a little more of a run than she was expecting early on in this game. Just three minutes have passed, but that looks pretty brutal right there. Yeah, and on a short roster, you can't afford to lose many players. Otherwise, somebody from the literal benches, the stands, may have to go in and play. Both players playing with depleted rosters. Just eight players suiting up today for West LA. Looks like she's going to try and get up. Still down on the floor now. Another trainer comes over to try to help her out. Try to help her up. Get the on her trainers. feet. Yeah, it doesn't look like she's going to be able to walk on both feet, but it looks like she'll be all right. Which Not is putting good. any weight on that right no foot. Weight on, no weight on the right foot, but uh, she's able to be upright, which is good. Limping off there. Ilana Alano has checked into the game. West LA looking for their first points of the game with seven minutes to go in the first quarter. Looks like West LA is down to just six players now. <coughs> Viola with the shot. Vijaya was off on that one. Cameron McMahon, wide open from the corner. Off on that. Vijaya handles the rebound. West LA comes into this with a 15 and eight record. Very impressive for that side. SMC just at seven and 12, looking to get off the schneid, looking to put a couple of wins together. And with a team with nothing to lose is a dangerous team, you know? As we saw earlier today, Scott, yep. with the men's side. The SMC women are coached by Lydia Strong, who's in her 19th year. She was named Western State Conference Coach of the Year in 2008 and 2017, so very accomplished coach they have on their sidelines. West LA coached by Tuan Heron. Well, despite the score being six nothing, uh that West LA team looks like it's having a good time. I see a lot of their players smiling over there. Johnson pulls up from the corner, not there. Nina Gaza with the board. They get it Tries right to back. Get it McMahon. Vijaya stole it right out of her hands. Vijaya will go to the stripe, shoot a couple. Coach Strong not pleased with that foul. As Vijay will shoot two. First one is good. And they get their first point on the board. And the 
second. Inbounded to Miriam Mogus. Quintana, swoosh, fires the three-pointer. Extends this lead nine to two. Johnson on top of the key. Rebound corralled. West LA still has possession. Santa Monica playing good defense and boxing out underneath the boards. Not a lot of ball movement from the West LA side early in this one, Scott. Oh, that three-pointer puts them right back within reach of this game. Only four points. Four-point trailing right now for West LA. Not what you want there from the Corsair defense, though. Uh, wide open, Adriana Vajaya. You do not. And a Gazza. fight for the ball down there between Gazzo and Andrea Riley. Excuse me, Trisha Delph. Ball will go to the West LA Wildcats. Hey, Avian Johnson brings the ball up. Over to Vajaya. Who gets it into Alana? Santa Monica's got, uh, excuse me, West LA has the momentum right now, especially on this drive. They can put up some points. Six seconds left on the shot clock, up off the rim. Johnson was off on that one. Back out to the All Star number 22. Vijaya has it, being guarded by Mogus. Finds Andrea Riley, who gets it over to Johnson. Back over to Vijaya, long on that three-point attempt. West LA playing a great offensive zone right now, getting those rebounds, and one for West LA. Going to the line is Vijaya. Hoop and Vigea. the arm there for Vijaya. She'll shoot one from the free throw stripe. And this could make it a one-point game, Paul, here with 4.14 to go in the first quarter. Good little back and forth we have here from Vijaya and Ariana Quintana, two of the better players for their respective teams. Quintana averaging 14.3 points per game, shooting 72% from the free throw line. And Vijaya, 15.5 points per game. Couple of good ones here. Got a tight game between two good Ball Offensive stolen teams. by Andrea Riley. Johnson's coming the other way. Over to Vijaya. Thought about the three for a second. Johnson has it. Back out to Vijaya. Finds an open Vijaya. How she still remains to be open is beyond me, Scott. Gazzo makes uh, the rebounding look so effortless as she is the tallest player out there. And, and just a freshman, too. Liliana Lopez is going to check in for Miriam Mogus. Her first action of this game. Quintana gets it into Gazzo. Back to Gazzo. Into Lopez. Lopez off glass. Hey! That's two for the good guys. Corsairs extend the lead to three, ele leading 11 to eight. Gotta love a game that's within three points, Paul. Vijaya thought about it. Johnson will strike. Not there. But Trisha Delft came up with that board. Vijaya has it over to Johnson. Working a little two-man game. Santa Monica playing good defense under there, making West LA pass the ball around as time on the shot clock is counting down to the final seconds. Ball will stay with West LA here. They will retain possession. Johnson is inbounding it, gets it into Alana. Alana pulls up from two, not there. Luna Rivera comes down with it, racing the other way. 
Loses control for a second, hangs on. Over to Quintana, Quintana with the three-point strike. A little bit short on that one. Corsair still with this early three-point lead. Santa Monica averages 54 points per game, while their West LA counterparts are up to 66 on the season heading into today. Both we'll showing, see which one gives. Both showing signs of no weaknesses right now. They're both going at each other very equally. There's the shot and in. Vijaya from the corner, it's like butter, Scott. Got 11s right now. 2.19 to go in the first quarter, 11-11. Gotta love a tie ball game, Paul. It's anybody's game in the next three quarters from here. Mogus gets it. Guarded by Johnson. Hands it off to McMahon. Finds Quintana who find, gets it back to McMahon. McMahon cutting through the lane. Travel called on her. It'll go the other way. Up goes West, LA. Trisha Delph handling the ball. Trying to find a teammate to pass it to. Find Savavian Johnson. Nice little floater, but just off there. Elana Alano. Able to corral that one. Gazzo playing tough defense underneath the boards right there and gets the rebound, coming back the other way for the Corsairs. That's what you want out of your 6'3 freshman center, Scott. Indeed. Play good defense down low, corral rebounds. She could be the saving grace for this team today to get this victory. McMahon just off and Mogus gets the rebound. Vijaya corrals that one on the Mogus miss. Jay is sprinting back the other way. A nice Euro step, avoids the charge. Wasn't able to find the deuce on that layup though. Cross court pass to Mogus. Back to Quintana from the corner. Hey, there's the three. Quintana, easy finding the bottom of the net. Finishing up this quarter the same way they started it out, Paul, with a three. Three-point lead here early for the Corsairs. Under a minute to go in this first quarter. Good first quarter, competitive on each side. Andrew rally off on that jump shot from the free throw line. Gazzo outlets to Mogus. Vijaya steals it, coming back the other way. Mogus is in the lane. But Vijaya is able to get that one off the glass. Go nice looking. She's runner not there. an all-star for nothing, Paul. 19.6 less to go, and she is keeping her team right in the thick of things in this ball game. Timeout on the floor called. Just a 30-second timeout here. Looks like our injury is getting tended to on the other side of the court right now. Massaging her leg is the personal trainer. But with her shoes off, it doesn't look too promising for her return to this ball game, Scott. No, it doesn't, but as long as she has her health, that's what's most important after this game, and hopefully she'll be ready to go time for the next one. I'm sure Coach Tuan Heron wanted to check on that injured right foot, though, knowing he only has one other player on the bench. He knows his team is thin tonight, Scott. Is this a time where you got to start recruiting from your uh, sports catered classes at your college? McMahon working in on Vijaya. Got a double dribble. You don't see double dribbles that often in basketball, but when you do, it just makes me think of the old Nintendo game that I used to love. <laughs> Vijaya will on this one, gets it in. Back to Vijaya, who gets it over to Hehavian Johnson. Johnson, a little two-point attempt, not there. This Shot first clock counter. violation. Oh, no, excuse me. Time is out in the first quarter. First quarter will come to a close. Corsair's up 14 to 13 at the end of this one. Scott, what would you like out of what you saw from the Corsair sides there? Um, their star players are definitely coming out. Gazzo with the rebounding. McMahon passing the ball around. Uh, 
Every player is playing. I mean, this really goes for both sides right now. As you can see, the score is 14-13, and that is for a good reason. Uh, basketball is a team game. There's no I in team, and both teams are passing the ball around and taking the proper shots. That's why it's such a close one. Right, exactly. And do you think West LA can try to do some more damage, get the ball maybe more to Audrina Vijaya, their all-star player, to try to cut into this deficit, sure, take I the mean, lead? Yeah, they can definitely do that. I think they're playing a good game, uh, despite some of their misses and mishaps on defense. Uh, they should be happy where they are right now. It's playing away, even though it's three and a half miles up the road, they're still playing an away game, you know? And it's a conference game too. You gotta like where you're at, just being down by one and not playing your best game either, which goes to show you, as long as you can stay a game, even when you're not playing your best, you're a good team. Right, right. Like you mentioned, playing away from home, it, it may just be down the road in Santa Monica, but it's not your ho home friendly confines. It's not your own environment. It's not your own locker room. You're having to travel on a bus. It's, it's a different feel than playing at home and suiting up on your hardwood. Most definitely, definitely. I think we saw that earlier with the men's on the West LA side. Oh, we sure having did. Having won seven we, straight, but not we, able to do anything. We thought West LA men's was gonna come in here and get it done, but... Uh, Santa Monica proved otherwise. We're back in action here in the second quarter. Santa Monica has the 14 to 13 lead. Gazzo just puts that one up. Nothing there. Johnson's coming the other way. Finds Trisha Delph. Delph a little short on that three-point attempt. Quintana handles it. She'll bring the ball up. Over to Mogus. Mogus finds Liliana Lopez. Tried to get it into Gazzo, but stolen by Vijaya. Oh, Vijay with a sweet fake pass, but not able to get the layup to go. Vijay playing the passing lanes very well today for this West LA side. Has been able to cut in front of a few of those intended passes for the Corsairs. McMahon, top of the arc, into Mogus. Mogus, two-point bucket is good. Santa Monica extending their lead to three right now. Still a close game. Nine minutes to go in the half. Johnson at the top of the arc. Over to Delph. Ball deflected. Will stay with West LA. Avian Johnson will inbound for the West LA side. Gets it into Delph. Delph fires from long range. Not there, but Johnson corrals the rebound. Ball Santa stolen Monica. by McMahon. McMahon sprinting the other way. Santa Monica playing a great box out defense over there in the defensive zone. That's what's really creating, that's what's making the difference in this game, Paul, right now. Their defense is enabling them to come back and score points. I know it's a close game, but the reason they're in this game is because of their defense. Mogus will inbound it. Gets it into Gazzo. Gazzo trying to find somebody. Quintana has it. She'll strike from way out. Gazzo gets that board, though. And Mogus is going to put that one up. Not there. Gazzo has it. Oh, there's a little bit of a tiff right there between the two. Gazzo and Baeja. Baeja. Gazzo was called for the foul there. Her second of the game. Coach Strong not too happy with that one. She wants to keep her big 6'3 freshman on the floor. Doesn't like to take her off. But Liz Salmerin will check in for Nino Gazzo. This is Salmerin's first action of the game. And they go right to Salmerin as Alana Alano pounds it away off glass for the two-point bucket. Milano come in already making a difference right now for her team. Quintana with a sweet hesitation move. Liliana Lopez comes up with the board. Salmerin passes to Cameron McMahon. McMahon. McMahon being guarded by Delph. McMahon with a long two-point jumper off the back of the iron. Johnson sprinting back the other way. 
Quintana back in the fence. Johnson puts up it off the glass. Not there. Ooh. It'll go Santa Monica's way. Like I said, Paul, Santa Monica's playing great in that defensive zone. They're keeping this a low scoring game, and that's what I think they want to do when you got a high octane team like West LA coming in here right now. Mogus will bring the ball up the floor. Over to Lopez. And Vijaya again, Scott playing these passing lanes to perfection. And they take their first lead of the game right now, 17 16 over the Corsairs. Delph playing some good defense there on Mogus. Salmarin wants to come over for the pick. She sets it. Ball goes out of bounds there. Get a little camera right there. Into the cameraman, but we're all right. He, she's all right, or he's all right. I can't see from here. Johnson bringing it up. Johnson has it over to Delph. Delph from the corner. Fires away and hits that one. Gets all three of those to go. All right. West LA extending their lead, but Santa Monica coming back. Out of bounds. Rivera's pass hit Delph's hands out of bounds. Corsairs will retain possession. Corsairs still have complete control in what they do for the rest of this game right now. They have a good opportunity on this particular possession. Mogus has it, going right side. Finds Salmarin. Salmarin was fouled. Looks like that foul is actually on the Corsairs and they'll go the other way. West LA has possession of it. Johnson handling the ball. Corsair has been playing some pretty good defense all all uh, night long. Johnson no being guarded by Luna in. Rivera. Nice little pass there from Milana. Well, Paul, it seems to me the Corsairs are losing a little bit of control in this game. They're down down by six. West LA has proven why they are a high octane team, especially with that 15 to eight record, Scott. They're a good looking bunch on that Wildcat side. One, three straight, three and three on the road. Vijaya, another, another defensive steal. play. Incredible not all stuff conference out of Vijaya. Not all conference for nothing right there. She is lighting it up for these Wildcats tonight. As coach Lydia Strong calls a timeout. Not a good run here for the Corsairs. No, they had complete control of this game at first. And now you have a timeout, you got to tell your team to calm down a little bit. Don't force any passes, don't force any shots. Just play your game, play it smooth, play smart defense as you have the first few minutes of the game. And uh, yeah, they've been doing otherwise, and that's what's been showing right now. West LA has been uh, exposing that. West LA on a 9-0 to zero run right now. Scott, it's tough for this Corsairs when Vijaya is playing the passing lane so well and taking it back the other way for an easy layup. Yeah, How do you she, think they can guard against that? Well, she's like a one-man wrecking crew. On offense, you got to double, excuse me, when the Wildcats are on offense and Santa Monica's on defense, you got to double team somebody like that. And then when Santa Monica's on offense, you got to watch out for her, try and keep the ball away from her and pass it around to the open woman. Right, exactly. West LA leads Santa Monica 24-16. Just over five minutes to go in this second quarter. McMahon will bring it up for the Corsairs. Over to Rivera, back to McMahon. <laughs> Offensive foul called on Santa Monica, not what you want. If your coach Lydia Strong out of the timeout. No, it's... Uh can't afford to uh, give up the ball that much. Uh, West LA will make you pay for it. 
Good teams. Johnson over to Dilf. Good teams always find ways to win, and not so good teams find ways to lose. But we'll find out what happens here the remainder of this game. Andrew Riley was down low with it, not able to get it to go, though. Double dribble again called on McMahon. That's your second one of the game, Scott. Can't be having that, especially from a star player. You got to uh, pay attention to what you're doing. Tough turnovers there for the Coursers. They need to find some momentum here or try to stop this West LA momentum. Johnson has it being guarded by McMahon. Finds a wide open Johnson. Rims in and out. Delph with the offensive rebound. Foul called. Salmarin with the foul. Nina Gaza will check back in. Liz Salmarin will sit on the bench. Haven Johnson passes it into Vijaya. Alana over to Delph, who finds O'Reilly. Back to Johnson. Johnson thought about it for a second. Alana from two. And then she does it. Alana true from that two-point distance. Alana making a good difference in this game for her team. Especially coming in off the bench. Yep. Bench points are what you want. Mogus from three-point land. Long on that one. Vijaya with the rebound. Good board there from Audrina. Sprinting back the other way. Finds Avian Johnson. Going to slow this one down. Delph has it. Being guarded by Luna Rivera. Back over to Johnson. Who finds Alano. Working down low and on Gazzo. Foul called. Looks like uh, that'll be Gazzo's third. Alano's going to go to the line. Charity buckets again. Seen a lot of those today, eh, Paul? A lot we have, and Coach Strong is none too happy about that Nina Gazzo foul. That'll be Nina's third. And they may have to take her off the floor. Coach San Strong showing extreme displeasure. San Monica scored just seven points this, since the first quarter. Not what you want, Scott. McMahon bringing the ball up. Not a lot of offensive juice here for Santa Monica in this second half, Scott. No, they started out the first second <coughs> quarter. Excuse me, four, four or five minutes uh, with some good points. They got to get back to it right now if they want to win this game. McMahon handles it to Luna Rivera. Rivera off on the little floater. Just to the left of the rim. Vijaya comes back the other way. Finds Johnson. Johnson was looking for some space. Delph has it, cutting through the lane. Gets her own rebound and in. Follows her miss here, Scott, as they extend their lead to 13, 29 to 16. That just really hurts, you know, when a player gets their own rebound and they make the game. Then they, sorry, make their point. That uh, totally changes the game and the momentum. McMahon's pass there off target to Quintana. I think Quintana wanted that one earlier anyway. Wanted to put up the triple. West LA has it up 13. They want to extend this lead heading into the halftime break. See what they can do. Alano down in the low post, being double teamed. Over to Delph, finds Andrew Riley. Johnson into Alano. Delph puts up the triple. Long on that one. Riley grab, went on down on the floor to try to get that one, and a travel was called on her. Ball will go to Santa Monica. Well, Santa Monica has a chance in this last minute and 58 to get some points uh, to close this lead to start the second half. Need to try to get something, Scott. I mean, they led 14 to 13 at the end of one. Have only put up two points in this second quarter. 
Not encouraging signs. Luna Rivera has it down low. Over to Quintana from the corner. That uh. is her bread and butter, but that was just off. Vijay is coming the other way. Johnson faked it. Alano from way out. Samsonite, that was way off. Just a, just a little <laughs> outside on that one, Scott. Little. Since we were quoting Dumb and Dumber earlier, I figured I had to throw that one in there. I was waiting for the right moment. Some smirks from both sides, but I think it's all fine. Alano's had a great start to this game in this first half. I stand corrected, Paul. Santa Monica's only scored two points since the first quarter. Not what you want to see if you're head coach Lydia Strong. McMahon stays with it. Mogus puts up the three. Okay, okay. Ten point game. You're back in it right now. Anything can happen. Big bucket there from Marion Mogus, Scott. Just under a minute to go. 29-19 in favor of the Wildcats. Complete opposite from last game, whereas the Santa Monica men's team was blowing the door wide open on the Wildcats. Johnson with a nice little step in there on Lopez. And she's not their number one player for nothing, Paul. Got that floater to go in off glass. That was a nice looking shot. Quintana fires short on that one. Ball tapped out of bounds by Luna Rivera. West LA will gain possession. 0.4 second difference between shot clock and game clock here, Scott. Vijaya is trying to inbound it, finds Delph, gets it over to Johnson. If I'm West LA, I can just slow the uh, game down a little bit right now. You got 25.2 left on the game clock, 25 on the shot clock. Well, now back to 30. Or, I believe. Looks like they may have turned the shot clock off. They turned, oh yeah, they turned it off right now. So now you can pretty much milk the clock for the remainder of the quarter. No need to rush it or force anything. You have a commanding lead. But if you want to continue blowing the doors wide open, I say go for it. More power to you. 12-point lead here for Havian Johnson and the Wildcats. Johnson over to Doe, finds Vijaya. Vijaya wide open from three, off on that one. Alano has the rebound back out to Johnson. Not there. Johnson puts it up just Nine after the time. closer doesn't get that one to go. No, we got a 31-19 lead in favor of the Wildcats at the end of the first half, folks. 31-19 over the Corsairs. First half is complete. Scott, who impressed you most in that second quarter from West LA? Able to grab the lead and really take over and take a stranglehold on this game. Well, I gotta say it was number 45, Ahana Alano. She came in the game right from the get-go and she's made a difference with rebounding, passing, and shooting. Uh, her numbers aren't that big right now on the scoreboard, but She's definitely made an impact since she's come in this game. And who do you think on the Corsair side, Coach Lydia Strong is telling in the locker room, you need to play better for us in this second half to be a catalyst and spark this Corsair side? Uh, it's certainly McMahon. She came in this game as our number one prospect that we were looking at. She got called with a double dribble earlier, and you can't have penal you can't have your star mm -hmm. players getting all drawing up all those penalties. Otherwise, it's going to cost your team. But I must say, Nina Gazzo, she has come to play tonight. As long as you can get a girl like her under the boards, anything is possible for the Santa Monica team. From Corsair Pavilion, West Los Angeles leads Santa Monica 31 to 19, heading into halftime. We'll be back after the break. You stay tuned. We are back in action here for the second half of this Santa Monica College versus West LA matchup. Scott, this is just about to get underway before we do. Santa Monica College not able to find anything in that second quarter. Can they do anything in the second half to try to rebound? They sure can. As long as they play defense, much like they did in the early parts of the first quarter, they could get anything done as long as they come back the other way and score. Gazzo gobbles up that rebound to start off the third quarter. Just like I said at the end of the first half, Gazzo getting in this game like she did, and she just did it there with a pass and a score from McMahon. Good bucket there from McMahon. Cuts it to a 10-point deficit early in this third quarter. Corsairs know they have their work cut out for them, but they, they think they have a shot 
with the players they have on Quintana, Mogus, and McMahon. Oh yeah. I mean, they already showed on that first uh, defensive drive right there that they got it. Delph had to just put that one up with the shot clock running out, but Andrew Riley gets the offensive rebound. Keyboard for the Wildcats, able to keep possession. Riley, the two-point jumper, just off on that one. Gazzo gobbles up another. Vallea. Vallea taking control of this game all by herself, it looks like. And she's going to go to the line, shooting charity shots. Two free throws for Vieja. Vieja. First one drops. You know, Corsair's on that particular drive, defensively, they lost control of the ball. When you get a rebound, you got to hold on to it, stick it, and move it the other way. And that's just what they did not do. And that's what's enabled this uh, Wildcat team to be able to maintain their lead. Second free throw is in and out for Vallea. Corsairs have it. Luna Rivera cutting through, gets it over to Cameron McMahon. Just off on that three-pointer. Out to Quintana. She'll pull the trigger, not there. Mogus with the offensive board. Fight for the ball. And it stays with us, Santa Monica. Possession arrow leads towards the Corsairs. They will retain possession. Mogus fires up the three short on that one. Johnson sprinting back the other way. Johnson cross court over to Vallea. Vallea to Delph. Alana with a sweet bounce pass to Vallea. Found her cutting right to the rim. Very smart player, knowing her way around the court and into the bucket. Cameron McMahon brings the ball back up for the Corsairs. Over to Luna Rivera, into Nina Gazzo. Gazzo working, a little two-point floater there for Gazzo, cuts the deficit to just 11. Like I said earlier, Paul, Gazzo is making a difference in this game. She needs to stay under the buckets and get those rebounds in the offensive zone and make her baskets. Johnson has it, over to Delph. Delph fires from three, off on that one. Gazzo. Nina Gazzo with the rebound. Mogus will fire from three you off really the front of the iron. You really got to wait for Gazzo to be under the rim to get that rebound, Paul. She seems to be the only Corsair able to do it. Vallea with a sweet looking move up and under for two. No surprise there. Vallea just doing her thing all day long. And there is a three pointer if I've ever seen one. Big bucket from Quintana, but Coach Lydia Strong wanted a foul called on that one, Scott. She thought there was a little hoop and harm. West LA content just to slow this one down. Delph has it, passes over to Johnson and to Alano. Alano, another bounce pass to Andrea Riley just outside the top of the rim. Ball being chased around, kicked by Santa Monica will stay with West LA. 10 point lead here for the Wildcats. Santa Monica's got to box them out from getting balls underneath the rim because players like Vallea are getting under there and uh, making her shots. But just like that right there, great defensive play, turnover coming back the other way for Santa Monica. Alana was slow to get up, which has to be troubling to see for Coach Heron, knowing he has just one other member on the bench. And Alana will come out. Lauren Jones gonna check in here. Alano grimacing on the bench, a very concerning sign. As now Nina Gazzo can just dominate down low with nobody on the opposition to work against, really. Johnson crossing it up. Two-point jumper is off. Quintana with the rebound. Quintana looking. Gets it over to Cameron McMahon. McMahon slicing left side through the defense. Blocked there by Andrea Riley.
Dove into Riley. Riley quickly got double teamed back out of Dove. Dove short on that three point attempt. Johnson has it. Injury Riley, key offensive rebound there. Santa Monica needs to get those rebounds to get that ball going the other way. Otherwise, this Wildcat team's gonna make you pay for it. Looks Johnson. Like it was a little uh, scuff, not a scuffle, but a collision there between Gazzo and uh, Trisha Delph. I think there's a lot of collisions a lot of times with Gazzo and anybody that comes in her way, Scott. Seems to be the case, Paul. The big 6-3 freshman out of Hamilton High School in Los Angeles. Hometown girl. Wanted to stay close to home at Santa Monica. Quintana from the corner. Yes, sir. That one is true. Nine point deficit. This West LA leads Santa Monica 38 to 29. Johnson from the top of the arc, not there. Mogus comes up with the defensive rebound. Racing down the floor. Looks like there was a uh, charging call there. Vallejo with perfect positioning able to draw that charge, Scott. I said earlier, Paul, she's a very smart player and having read up on her profile before this game started, it's no secret of her being an all-conference type of player. She's done it all today. She's blocked out, zoned out. Uh, she's gotten some good rebounds, making all the shots that she's had to take. She's a utility player for sure. And it wouldn't be surprising to me is that if this game gets close, she's gonna be the one to win it for her team. Right, and I think they needed her to do that, Scott. Uh, just to try to push this one for victory. Oh yeah. oh yeah, I mean the whole team's playing great around her. We got players like Alano, obviously, and um, Trisha Delph, Johnson, who we mentioned earlier in our broadcast. They're all coming to bat, and they're all playing as a great team and showing great depth, and 15-8 and eight record is definitely showing today. And Baye is really that cornerstone of that team, isn't she? Kind of everything circulates through her, ball, motion, all goes through her, and she's able to get the defensive stops, able to steal it and take it in for the layup. Yes, yeah, she's a key player on that she, on that side. She definitely plays with such grace, and uh, I noticed before she, I noticed earlier uh, she had a couple pickoffs, and uh, went back the other way. She's got great ball awareness too, and when you have that, you know you can't coach that. That's just that's a mental thing, and that's right. just getting in the force of habit of being able to play this game and having a winning mentality. Right. Exactly. Getting back underway here. Johnson inbounds it, gets it back. We'll take it up court. West LA has a 38 to 29 lead. Cameron McMahon coming the other way. Ball deflected by Vallea. We see those active hands in use again, Scott. Impressive stuff from Audrina Vallea. McMahon has it. Navigating the defense over to Luna Rivera. Rivera back to McMahon. McMahon finds Quintana. And the bucket. That's where the Corsairs want the ball to go. Right to Ariana Quintana, Quintana from the corner. Cuts the lead to six with just three and a half to go in this third quarter. Big bucket there from Quintana to help the Corsair side. Definitely, now they just have to box out and hope Gazzo gets those rebounds like she's been doing all night. Johnson has it, thinking about it. Passes it up. Back to Johnson who will pull the fire. Not there, just short. Shot clock was called, but ball hit the rim. As the ball eventually will go out of bounds and this one will go to Santa Monica's side. I think that was an inadvertent horn on I, that shot clock. I think Gazzo, as great of a rebounder as she is, she needs to play a little more physical underneath and boxing out with her body. I think she just goes up for the ball mainly without real thinking about the physical presence around her. And she needs to start doing that a little more. Ahana Alano is back into the game. She checked out for a moment due to injury, but it looks like she's fine. Guarding Gazzo here. Gazzo just puts up the two-pointer, not there. A little short. 
Vallez coming the other way. Orchestrating the offense, trying to find her teammates. Over to Riley, who gets it over to Johnson. Johnson back out to Vallea. Alana with a sweet bounce pass to Johnson. Good Quintana has drive, it now. But not good enough. Santa Monica bringing it back the other way and trying to cut into this lead. Can they Quintana do it? Quintana finds a little space short on the three-point attempt there. There but it Gazzo is. Gazzo playing physical. Didn't almost get the ball. had that. Yeah. Didn't get the ball, but it's definitely showing that her physicality is a force to be reckoned with. Haven hey, Johnson into Alano. There it is. Okay. See, it may be uh, West LA's ball right now, but the fact is that she's playing a physical game. You can see a difference moving her body around, being more of that force of nature we know her to be. Nice deflection there from Gazzo to stop the play, stop the West LA momentum. Although Trisha Dell sliced right in there for a little four foot floater. Sliced like butter. Cameron McMahon has the ball the other way. McMahon over to Liliana Lopez. Quintana finds it just over a minute to go in this third quarter. McMahon from the corner, not there. Valle with the rebound. Racing back the other way. Valle a little stutter step. That's a rarity of her missing. Short on the layup. They do keep the ball, but that was a rare miss for Valle. I think we'll let her get away with that one. We've been speaking her high praises all night. Santa Monica has cut this lead down to eight, trailed by 12 at halftime. Need a few more buckets and a few more stops if they're gonna get back into this, and that does not help the cause as Trisha Dell cold-blooded from three. Cold-blooded indeed. Now we got just a, under a minute to go. Santa Monica needs desperately to cut into this lead to have a chance in the fourth quarter. That won't help there. Looks Turnover like, uh, as West LA will take over. Looks like Johnson got pushed from behind. Her back's hurting a little bit. She's grabbing at it. Looks like that lower back. Yeah. Seen a lot of injuries out here today. It's been chippy play all day between the two rivals, West LA and Santa Monica. Well, they are a crossroad team. Both colleges are close to each other and a lot of these players know each other. So when the game's on, they don't know each other. Delph from the same spot. Another cold blooded move from Delph. Net didn't even move there. Scott just went right down the drain. They knew where it wanted to go. McMahon turns it over, Vallea with another steal. She's playing the passing lanes. This game's getting out of well. hand real fast, Paul. 16 point lead, just like that. McMahon there with a oh, wild shot. Oh, she got it, and I think it counts. Gazzo did get that one to go, it looks like. Yep. So, we got a 48-34 score right now, going into the fourth quarter. I think Santa Monica really needs to come back in this and play a physical ball game in the fourth if they want a shot at winning. Scott, do you think Quintana's threes can do it alone for this Corsair side, or do you think there's anybody else they can try to get playing at a higher level to get back into this game? No, I honestly think I've been saying time and time that Nina Gazzo needs to get her rebounds and put some baskets in. And as long as she can get defensive rebounds and offensive rebounds, she's going to be their clutch player to make a difference in the momentum in the set, uh, excuse me, in the fourth quarter. Scott, what about Cameron McMahon, uh, Santa Monica's point guard, coming into today averaging 12.5 points per game? We haven't seen a whole lot of her as far as points scored today. What do you think she can do to help this squad? Nah, I was excited to see uh, what she had to bring to the table. And like you said, we haven't seen much today. Uh, I'd like to see her, you know, come in the game a little more, show what she's shown all season and her prowess and her scoring abilities. But it's going to take a team effort if they mm -hmm. want to get this win. Right, exactly, Scott. They need a little bit more from about every facet of their team right now. And West LA, playing with just six players, you'd think their stamina would be a little bit lower, maybe a little more fatigued heading into this fourth quarter. 
this could be the time early in this fourth quarter to put the clamps down and try to cut this deficit. I think that's exactly what they're going to do. Well, I think West LA is going to be able to uh, run away with this lead based on the way they've been playing. But yeah, if Santa Monica wants to come back with the lead, they do need to clamp down and they need to do it really fast because you saw right there at the end of the third quarter that uh, West LA was showing no mercy. Oh, they were showing no mercy indeed as we're just getting this fourth quarter underway. Just 10 minutes left in this ball game. Johnson has it over to Ulano. Ball stolen by Luna Rivera. Great steal there, but throws it up for grabs. Nobody able to track that one down. Last one out off of Andrew Riley, they'll say, and ball will go to Santa Monica. Santa Monica trailing 48 to 34. Vallea picks off that one, coming the other way. Over to Delph. Delph is fouled by Luna Rivera. Delph out to the line. Big hit there. Collision between Delph and Rivera. Delph a difference maker in this game, making her two three-pointers late in the third quarter with that killer instinct she has right now and another chance to continue extending this lead. This is the first one. Delph averaging 12 and a half points and six boards on the year, Scott. She's a key player, integral, plays an integral role in this offense. Yeah, she really does. And physically and uh, gracefully, the way she shoots and the way she plays position-wise, she's a good token. Really able to act as a third or second, even second option behind Vallea or Javian Johnson. Yes. Liliana Lopez a little long on that three-pointer. Johnson over to Delph. Delph slices in for that layup off the glass. We rest Pretty our case, too. folks. We rest our case. Delph is doing it all. Definitely that second option to Vallea. Mogus has it. Being guarded by Delph. Gazzo tries to pick, nothing there. Over to Cameron McMahon. McMahon was fouled by Vallea. Mogus will inbound from out of bounds, not a shooting foul. Vallea, those active hands, able to get a tip on that one, and Wildcats will steal that one. Heavy and Johnson coming the other way. Layup not good. Still the incredible acrobatic athleticism from Vallea, Scott. It's, it's been on full display all day. It is amazing. McMahon Santa, has it. Santa Monica's had many chances to score going the other way, but they're just not putting them in like they were uh, earlier in this game. I think every quarter besides the first, they really haven't been able to shoot at a high field goal percentage level, Scott, and it's really hurt them today. McMahon misses there. Delph comes back the other way for an easy layup. Stretches this to a 19-point lead, Scott. Big surprise. Another another uh, Delph shot go went going in and uh, increasing this lead. 53-34 with uh, just under eight to go. Wildcats ball back again. There's Delph up. Nope. Cameron McMahon. Very rare Some very loose ball handling there. Mogus fires from three. Not there. Gazzo not able to put that one in. As Rivera throws it over to the Wildcats. Valle is coming the other way. Layup not good. A little sloppy play here early in the fourth quarter, Scott. Yeah, I think both teams are uh, doing their best to win the game, but not best enough on account of the Santa Monica Corsairs. With 7.20 to go, 53-34 lead over the Corsairs. What do you think, uh, what do you think their mentality is right now? Well, from the Corsairs side, I want to get the ball in Ariana Quintana's hands, Scott. But I also need to circulate the offense and find some other players like Cameron McMahon or Nina Gazzo. As Johnson steals that one, she'll lay that one up, up and in for the two. Extends this to a 21-point lead. Just under seven minutes 
to go in this fourth quarter. Yeah, I think it uh, looks like West LA is in control of this game right now, unless Santa Monica puts up a prayer and makes it. Rivera off on the four-foot jumper. Just nothing going here for the Corsairs as the Wildcats are on a 7-0 run to start this fourth quarter. Coach Lydia Strong and a call L her players over to her and wants to huddle them up as Nina Gazzo will shoot a couple from the line, gets the first one to go. 20 point game right now. Gazzo good on the second. Corsair is playing a little full court press defense. Johnson went down off the Cameron McMahon foul. Johnson playing very physical today too. Even when she goes down, it looks like her back's a little bit aching right now, but she's staying in this game. Very tough player, much like a Kobe Bryant type. I think she probably likes that comparison, Scott. She'll take five titles. Most likely, I don't know if she's gonna hear this cast though. House straight on Newport Beach. Oh yeah, helicopter Helicopter in for, I was just gonna say it. That would be a nice lifestyle, sure. but yeah, it has it. Delph wanted it again from three. Wasn't there on that one. Vallea got her hands on another. That'll stay with Santa Monica. Vallea has been all over the court today, Scott. She sure has, Paul. Very much utility player, as we've been saying all along. She's got my vote for all conference player. And assuming that the uh, Wildcats hold on to this win, definitely player of the game uh, nominee. Wildcats will steal another one. Coach Lydia Strong can't believe it on the sideline. She's beside herself. She's gonna have a nice talking to with the players after this game. Next practice will be a little bit tough for these Santa Monica College Corsairs. Johnson has it out to Baia from three. A little bit rare, off. Rare miss for Vallea. Gazzo got the board over to Rivera. Rivera to Quintana from her spot. Okay, okay. That three-pointer is true. Cuts the deficit to just 16. As West Los Angeles will lead this one 55-39. Just over five minutes to go left in this fourth quarter. Anything you'd like to see from either side here, Scott? in the last five minutes of this game? Well, if I'm a Wildcat fan, coach, or player, I just want to keep playing my game right now because as long as I do that, there is no way this Corsair team is going to come back and beat me. Uh, we got a great mentality. We've been ball hawking the entire game, been scoring the entire game. There's really maybe a few kings that need to be worked out, but there's only five and a half minutes left to go in this game that I don't think they have much worry. Uh, now, on the other hand, as a Santa Monica fan, player, or coach, um, you should work on improvements for the next game at this point. I, th you know, nothing is really out of reach at this point, but I just think with the way that uh, the Wildcats are playing, uh, Santa Monica's got to uh, just finish strong and go into the next game uh, with a m winning mentality. It's surprising that we didn't see any fatigue from the West LA side, Scott, especially after that early injury, only having six players suited up. Nothing. They just com continue to no, charge on the, in this game. They're uh, that's that's a rarity. You know, they don't even need the depth. I mean, they got all their starters out there right now, and they're having a good uh, good go at it. That's uh, number eleven in the game right now. West LA has the fifty-five to thirty-nine lead. Playing some ball control offense here in no hurry whatsoever. Delph has it over to Johnson. Back to Delph. Quintana got a hand on it for a second. Oh, it was a close one. Johnson just had to put that prayer up with the shot clock running out. It will be a shot clock violation and ball will go to the Corsairs. Down 16. 
Quintana may just have to fire it up here, Scott. If the Corsairs are to have any chance late in this one. Gaza's Gaza's got has it. it. Got to make those baskets to, to come within striking distance. Especially when you're three feet away from the bucket, Scott. And when you're three feet taller than everybody else, most of the time. Delph has it. Over to Vallejo. Vallejo into the lane. Nice, nifty little move up Very and under physical. for the two-point bucket. Mogus will bring it the other way for the Corsairs. Finds a wide open Liliana Lopez, who had a foot on the line. Doesn't matter. Gazzo gobbled up the rebound. Not there. Ball knocked out of bounds by Vallejo. Will stay with Santa Monica. Down 18. Rivera has it. Lost control at the last second. Mogus with it to Gaza Quintana. underneath, calling for the ball. Vallejo. Right? Valle um, excuse me, Gaza, Gaza making that. She was kind of like laying off the ball there. Like she was calling for it, and she was trying just to avoid a foul. She needs to play more physical. Johnson has it over to Delph. Shot clock down to six. Johnson will fire from the corner. And makes it. That should be a dagger right there with three minutes to go. Just about three minutes. Tough game here for the Corsairs. Held a nine to two lead. Was jumping on West LA early, Scott, but just haven't been able to do anything since, have they? Yeah, they started out strong, Paul, but uh, right now they're showing signs of weakness. And, you know, you got to remember they are a 7 and 12 team, and a lot of underdogs, you know, come into a game starting out really strong. But the question is can they finish? It's not how you start, it's how you finish. Right, exactly. And that was their problem today. Probably what Coach Lydia Strong will tell them after the game. Quintana from her spot. Gets fouled, she'll shoot three. Looks like she's a little hobbled, but she'll be all right. Stops the clock, gives Santa Monica a chance. May still be a little bit too, too little too late. Crowd is not as into it as in the first game, Scott. That first game was getting rowdy here inside Corsair Pavilion. It really was, but we got to remember that a lot of that crowd's on the court right now. You're right. <laughs> but yeah, the game was a little more exciting in the first, the, f uh, the first game around. It was close for a while, and then the boys just blew the door wide open. Quintana misses that one. 20-point game here, just under three minutes to go. Conference matchup, Western State South Division. This will be an important one if West LA is able to hang on as they look like they're going to. Important win for tiebreaker purposes early in conference play. Great passing team too. You can see they're passing it around the perimeter very smoothly, taking it up to the bucket just like that, scoring at will. That's a team game right there, showing a lot of depth. Johnson, a nice little floater there. Quintana, excuse me, that's there Rivera into Gazzo. Gazzo with a sweet bucket off the glass there. Bank is open on a Saturday afternoon. Coach Heron will call a timeout. With his squad up 62 to 42. Just over two minutes to go in this one, Scott. Coach Lydia Strong is gathering all her troops. Looks like we may have a rolling clock situation. And Coach Strong is none too happy about that. Not pleased with that at all. Excuse me, could have been a travel call. Luna Rivera stole that one. Take it in for the bucket. There it is. Two minutes to go, 62-44 in favor of the 
visiting team Wildcats. Johnson taking it up on her own. Passes to Vallea. Gazzo gobbles Santa that Monica one up over to Rivera. The way. Oh. Well, Sa Santa Monica will retain possession. Buck 32 to go in this game with a 62-44 lead in favor of the visiting Wildcats from West LA right now. Looks like this one is all but done, eh, Paul? Just about there, Scott. Corsair is still fighting, but I don't think it'll come to any avail as this one looks to be a bit too much out of reach, Scott. It would seem to be like that. Quintana will inbound. Finds Mogus. Mogus put it up. Got fouled on the way up. She'll shoot a couple. Santa Monica with this 18-point deficit. Mogus off on the first. She'll shoot one more. Coach Lydia Strong showing a little bit of displeasure late in this game. Yeah. We'll definitely choose her words carefully in the locker room after this one. Try yeah, to get her point across. You can't allow a loss like this to seep in for the rest of your season right now. Use it as a learning tool. You played against a good team today. You started out strong, but you got to learn how to finish those games. Johnson has it. Working on Lopez. Content just to play ball control offense. Over to Vallea. Vallea been the star player today for this West LA side. Quintana has it. Runs out of room, but gets it over to Lopez. Lopez, a nifty move to spin away from Johnson on that one. Off on the shot. Delph came up with the board. Looks like it's about a five second differential right now between the shot clock and the game clock. They're probably just going to run it as low as they possibly can before this one is over and done with. Johnson with a nice crossover. But like you said, Scott, look like she's just content with running this one out. Head to the locker room with a win. Looks like they'll take the penalty. Final five seconds will trickle off here inside Corsair Pavilion. So we had an exciting doubleheader today, Scott, on a Saturday afternoon. We sure did, Paul. This was some exciting basketball from the men's and the women's teams. I really enjoyed watching a handful of players individually, team-wise. Both were great team efforts on both accounts. Um, and it's great to see a rivalry go at it. Right, exactly. And Scott, heading into the bigger portion of their conference play, how do you think Santa Monica College can rebound from this loss, put it out of their memories, and get back into conference play with a win maybe in a week or two? Um, I think what they need to do is that the coach needs to talk to these girls, tell them that you know you started out the game strong, you really got to finish off strong. Um, and as long as you continue to play consistently throughout the course of the game and not just the first few minutes, as long as that happens, uh, then you have a good thing going. And who were you most impressed with on the Wildcats side leading their way to an 18-point victory? Uh, we mentioned her, game, mentioned her name all day long, Audrina Baez. She was great all up and down the court. Great presence, great poise, and great instincts on the ball. Baez was all over the floor, Scott. Hands on deck. She was moving that offense, orchestrating them, telling them what they had to do. Sure was, sure was. And I think... Uh, I think this Wildcat team is going to go a long way this year. If they play like this and not 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 such a perfect game against Santa Monica, and when they do play their perfect game, oh boy, watch out. Absolutely. West Los Angeles wins this one against Santa Monica, 62-44 to in some conference action play. For my partner, Scott Lieberman, all the crew helping out tonight, I'm Paul Johnson. You have a great one out there, guys. Good night. Thank <laughs> you.